everybody, welcome to another episode of Cranking Out Crafts. My name is Lisa. Today I wanted to show you this really, really super cool thing. It is a spin on a wreath, um, but it's a photo wreath. So um, what I like about this is that I recently went on a trip and rather than um, having like a photo album with all my pictures or printing out just a couple to put in a frame, I can print out several and have them shown all at once um, in a wreath format, which is really cool. So um, I took a lot of pictures uh, using my phone using the application Instagram, which probably a lot of you are familiar with. Um, so I was able to get really nice, neat, uh, square sized pictures. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make this today. So I'm going to put this one on the side. A couple of things that you need stretcher bars um, I just have one here but you can make it any size you want to accommodate your pictures or you can even use an old picture frame um, I used stretcher bars for mine uh, so we created a frame and then you also need chipboard because you do need something to mount your pictures onto um, so this is nice and thick and doesn't bend uh, double sided tape and a pen if you're going to, what we did for um, for mine is we kind of made them look like Polaroids because they're square pictures. So I'm just, I'm using the bottom portion to kind of journal or talk about what's in the picture. And then, um, and a hot glue gun. So I'm going to show you how to put this together. I'm just, I've already mounted my picture onto black cardstock and I've covered my chipboard with um, white cardstock so that it can have that Polaroid look. You can use um, printed printed papers even, or you don't even have to um, uh, mount your picture or mat it with any kind of paper, just as long as you do have it on the chipboard because you do need it to be pretty sturdy. Okay, so I'm gonna peel off the layers and then position my picture. This picture happens to be um, Notting Hill in London. And you know, whatever you want to write about it. Okay, so now that that's done, I have a second wreath here that has more of my pictures. So I, um, there's an opening uh, left here. So if you can tell, some of these are kind of um, popping off. They're popping off the frame. So what we did is, if you can see in the middle here, we just stacked up some foam core for the ones that we wanted to kind of pop out. Um, and then for the rest of them, and you just glue it all together with the hot glue gun. For the rest of them, I'm just going to take my glue gun. I'm going to put some glue right where my picture is going to be. Make sure you don't let it sit too long. Okay. And it can be in any kind of layout you want. I kind of went for the um, kind of a crooked layout or not so straight. Um, and then the last thing we did was on the back for my hanger we just used a staple gun and attached ribbon for my hanger so that when it's ready to go on the wall all my pictures from my trip will be really visible in a really fun way thanks for joining us today see you next time mm -hmm.